Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me. For today's video, I have a little bit of a different video. Um, I wanted to, I don't know, talk to you guys about old makeup, I guess. And I don't know, um, I recently have been seeing a ton of videos on YouTube here just talking about old makeup, how it expires, and you know, the manufacturing dates of when it was released, and the batch codes, and all this other stuff. And I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I feel like, if a product is still like performing and working fine and it's not, you know, irritating your skin, um, I guess it depends on like the product. If it's something like a cream product, I'm not okay with it. But if it's like a powder product, like I said, it depends on the product, I guess, for me. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to go through my makeup a little bit and I don't have too many things. I probably only have like seven or eight things in the Sephora bag here but um I figure it's a start and I wanted to share with you guys the reasons why I'm getting rid of the, these products and um yeah I just want to talk about it and share them with you I guess so I'm really not the big fan of cream eyeshadows so I don't know why it is that I keep going out and purchasing cream eyeshadows or just buying cream products in general because I don't use them and it's a waste of money but uh i learned my lesson and i'm no longer buying cream products uh, so yeah i have three cream eyeshadows and then i have one gel eyeliner and first off i never use gel eyeliner i maybe have used this once this is the maybelline eye studio gel eyeliner in black it's black like I said, I've only used this once and I, I just don't use gel eyeliner. I'm throwing this away as I mentioned. All of these products are going in the trash because I'm trying to go cruelty free too. So that's another thing. A lot of these products, if not all of them, are not cruelty free. So for me, keeping these, thinking that I'm going to use them up, I'm not. I'm they're just going to expire more and I would rather have more room in my makeup collection or stash than to be hoarding these products and not use them and just have them sit there. The next product is this MAC Pain Pot in Bear Study. So I bought this at a CCO so it was probably already pretty old when I purchased it and I mean it still looks okay. It's starting to crack around the sides a little bit and you know it still smells fine and whatnot and I ha as you guys can see I have used this quite a bit so I did actually like this but over time I just felt like it made my eyeshadow crease underneath and or over top the of the powder eyeshadow it started to crease and I just wasn't a fan of that and I don't really like the idea of sticking my finger in it and then applying it to my eye I just I don't know and I know I could probably back to Mac this but I don't see the point because like I mentioned I am trying to go cruelty free so I will probably honestly just throw this away I mean or maybe give it to a friend so they can back to Mac it or something but it's you know not working for me and I'm just getting rid of it. Next up is the L'Oreal Infallible Eye Crayon in Enduring Rose. These came out and then they were gone. I don't think they were limited edition but they obviously didn't sell as well as they hoped because these were you know just not selling apparently because they discontinued them pretty quick um this i actually did like it is kind of similar to the bear study from mac but again i just don't use it and i know i could probably use it on my bottom lash line or something water line but i just i just don't want to and for me i just i just want to get rid of this i've had it probably for two or three years maybe longer um and I just know that I don't like cream products and no sense in keeping it. Alright, next up, this was a gift from my good friend Nisi here on YouTube. And I did use this quite a bit, but it's now kind of starting to separate a little bit. And it's a beautiful, um, you know, product and whatnot. And I want to keep this for the packaging, but I know I should just get rid of it. And it, that is the Chanel... Um, eyeshadow, uh, cream eyeshadow in New Moon. I just know, yeah, it's like all loose inside the pack. It just fell out. See, it's old. So, um, this needs to go. Um, Nisi did write on here. She did purchase this in 2015. 
So, um, it's two years old and I don't know, I don't feel comfortable putting this on my eyes. It's a gorgeous shade. Um, it's very glittery and everything, but I just am not going to use this and it's too old to use and I don't want to try to revive it or anything because it is old and, you know, it's lost, it's past its prime. Next up, I do have some eyeliners here and then I do have a lipstick. So I guess I'll first start off with the lipstick. This is the Maybelline Color Whisper in Rose of Attraction. I used up one of these in the shade and it was pretty, it is a pretty shade, but since I've used mine up like a year ago or something, I have this one. This was actually my mom's and if you guys know, they have discontinued the Color Whispers. They probably haven't been available in two or three years and I definitely do not want to put this on my lips anymore. It is starting to get like a blue line so I'm, I know it's starting to like separate and change so I am just going to pitch this because again I don't want to have old products in my collection and things that I know I'm not going to use. And then finally I do have three eyeliners here. This first one I actually almost used up so that says something and um, this was the Rimmel Scandalize eyeliner in Nude and it just now has a weird scent and I was using this for a while until I, uh, one day I, and I was using this every day until one day I put this on and my eyes immediately started to water and burn so I knew it had to be this because everything else I, you know, just bought and whatnot so I knew it wasn't that and, um, yeah, this is just old and especially putting this on my, uh, near my eye, that's just gross and, I do not want to be doing that anymore so I am chucking this because it's old and I feel like I did get my money's worth because I mean there's only like that much left so yeah. Plus it's not cruelty free so that needs to go as well. Here we have this Urban Decay 24-7 uh, Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Cosmic and this is a kind of a weird shade. I have used it a handful of times but it's like a white when you're looking at it you it looks like a white but it has like glitter micro glitter in it and it's just like patchy and it's just not it's just not good and I don't like it so uh plus I've had this for a really long time so it needs to go as well and I I don't think I would repurchase um any of the Urban Decay 24/7 glide on eye pencils because I found other eye pencils or eyeliners that I like better and I don't know I just feel like it you know it's past its prime for me and I don't want that anymore. This isn't super old but I just don't like it and that's the Buxom uh, Hold the Line Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Come Over. This has glitter in it and I don't want glitter in my eyeliner. like. Especially if I'm putting it on my bottom lash line, it's just annoying because the glitter will get in my eye and this just irritated my eye. I think it was because of the glitter in it and yeah, I didn't really like this so I'm just going to toss that out and I believe that is everything this time around. Um, yeah, I used to kind of prefer doing huge declutters and now I'm more so like I just will you know will go through my stash or collection and just you know pick and choose sometimes um products that are not working for me rather than doing a massive declutter I feel like it's better to just get rid of you know a little bit of products at a time because sometimes you yeah, have regrets or so and whatnot and I don't want to have regrets about makeup um especially when getting rid of it and whatnot so I am happy that I made space in my makeup stash or collection and um yeah, uh, thank you guys for taking the time to watch. Let me know your thoughts. If you also went through your makeup stash recently, please let me know. And um, yeah, I will look forward to hearing from you guys. And I will talk to you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you later.